Well, Black and White Network, the Fannie Willis trial has now ended. I mean, how many weeks of testimony have we actually heard? In my opinion, guys, it did not go well for Fannie Willis. Uh, Fannie Willis um, and Nathan Wade, clearly they lied on the stand. I believe they should actually be held accountable and charged with perjury. I mean, they actually committed a crime. You cannot lie. And it's pretty clear they lied. Uh, Fannie Willis is a friend testified under oath that their relationship began in 2019, the same year that they actually met. Terrence Bradley goes on the stand and then all of a sudden he actually has amnesia. He's like, oh, I was speculating. I'm not really sure. I don't remember this. I don't remember that. But he actually told um. Uh, Michael Roman's uh, lawyer in a tense. Yeah, Fannie Willis and uh, Nathan Wade were dating before 2022. They lied, man. They lied. And I was actually watching uh, some of the um, the hearing today. Uh, Fannie Willis is actually sitting there and she looked kind of uncomfortable. And then the other day we found out that uh, Fannie Willis, after her disastrous testimony, she actually said she felt like she had won, that she wouldn't be disqualified based on what she said. Wait a minute. What was she thinking? I mean, even MSNBC was saying that Fannie Willis was a disaster and that she should actually um, recuse herself and remove herself from this case to actually keep the case alive. Now that this case is over now, it's over. It's too late now for Fannie Willis to back out. I, I do believe it's too late. Man, the Democrats, man, are probably going to be panicking over the next couple of weeks because uh, Judge uh, Scott McAfee. I thought he was actually going to announce this decision today because that's what we were actually hearing is that he would actually make a ruling today on whether or not to disqualify Fannie Willis. And Nathan Wade in this case, as well as, you know, dropping all charges. Now, he has a bit decision to make and we're not going to get it today. I was actually anticipating that um we would actually hear whether or not that would actually happen today. No, we're going to have to play the waiting game at least for a couple of weeks. So here we go, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Remember, live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you watch on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. So here we are. Scott McAfee announces that um, he's going to make a decision in, in the next couple of weeks. Now, I'm wondering, has he already made up in his mind whether to disqualify Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade from this uh, case. Has he already made up his mind to dismiss the charges? I don't know. But um, let's go ahead and listen to this clip here where he actually does make his announcement. Let's roll it. Uh, and those are ones I can make at this moment. And so I will be taking uh, the time to make sure that I give this case full consideration is due. I hope to have an answer for everyone within the next two weeks. Uh, until that point, um, if there are any other issues that come up, counsel can reach out and uh, we'll have an order posted on the docket. Thank you all. We're off the See, I was really anticipating that he would actually make the call today. I was thinking that. I mean, a blind man can see that uh, Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade lied. Maybe he's only going to be weighing in on whether or not to throw out all of the charges. And I believe that he does, man, because this case cannot stay in the Fulton County DA's office, even if Fannie Willis is removed. The whole entire DA's office needs to be disqualified. And then this case is probably going to go away. Because from what, what we actually understand, this is a huge case right here in the other counties that would actually do it. I believe two of them already said that they can't do it. I mean, it takes a lot of money. 
They don't have the manpower. They don't have the money for it. So really, Trump's fate is really laying in the hands of um, of this judge right here. Now, even if he actually leaves on Fannie Willis on this trial here, I highly doubt that it actually gets in before the election because everything is about getting Trump convicted before the election. That's the play right here. And it does not seem to be working out whatsoever for um, for the Democrats, man. Everything that Trump is going through, man. I mean, even people on the left, they may not admit it publicly, but even they have to know that this is nothing more than an attack on Trump to stop him from actually getting in the Oval Office. You know what? And some of these leftists, man, these um, my democracy uh, leftists. They want Trump convicted and removed. They want election interference. Everything that's happening is nothing more than election interference. And it's pretty sad, you know, that this is actually happening in the United States of America, man. You would actually think we were like communist China, man, where, you know, these uh, Marxist countries, you know, they lock up their political enemies. The Nazis did that, too. The Nazis put some of their political enemies to death as well. I don't want to live in that kind of country, man. I don't. I mean, the people need to unite behind Trump, man, because this illegal immigration thing is really out of hand. The economy is a disaster. And the Democrats know, man, that um, Joe Biden, he can be controlled. But. They know that um, when he goes head to head with Trump, he's going to lose. And he's going to lose bit time. I can't imagine how Joe Biden in a fair election is going to beat Trump. I just don't see how. And when it comes to Arizona. It looks like uh, Arizona now, at least when it comes to uh, U.S. citizens voting, they actually now passed a. um a bill to where you have actually have to prove you're a citizen to vote. Now, Arizona definitely has some other problems too as well, but that's a good first step right there. You know, proving that you're a citizen, only citizens should vote. And there's some funny things going on in these, uh, these blue States and, um, and blue cities, man, where they're getting letting the legals to be elected out there in uh, New York city, I believe, or is it New York state? They put a Chinese national, on an election council. This person's not a citizen. I believe they actually have reversed that, if I'm not mistaken. That's some strange thing, strange things going on, man. We need Trump badly. I don't think we've ever needed a president more than what we actually need come November 2024. We need Trump, man, or if he can't get in, man, it's gonna be game over, man. It may be game over. Not trying to be a uh, Debbie Downer, but we cannot take another four years of leftist policies destroying this country. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.